2019 is looking like a great year for Xiaomi as it keeps on releasing new banner smartphone and because of this, we know that consumers like you are having a hard time deciding which Xiaomi smartphone to buy. So today, we're helping you out. Hey guys, around here for you get tech and in today's episode, we're putting the Redmi Note 8 Pro against its cousin, the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Design-wise, at a glance, both of these devices are stunner. Our Redmi Note 8 Pro comes in jade green color while our Mi 90 Pro is in glacier blue. We get a pop-up camera for the Mi 90 Pro where well, we get a good old dot notch as Xiaomi likes to call it for the Note 8 Pro. The former's pop-up camera also doubles as an LED notification light. At the rear, we can find a quad camera module and a fingerprint scanner for the Note 8 Pro and triple rear camera setup for the Mi 90 Pro. No fingerprint scanner here since it uses an in-display one. Both of them sports a USB Type-C port and a 3.5mm audio jack which are kind of a big deal nowadays. The Note 8 Pro comes with a hybrid dual SIM card tray while the Mi 90 Pro can only accommodate two nano SIM cards and neither of them is hybrid. So yes, sadly, no expandable storage here. So in terms of design, you could tell that the Mi 90 is the cooler Xiaomi with the Jean Grey Phoenix-like design and that pop-up camera. So if you're into dope-looking stuff, you know which one to get. But if you want less flashy and more elegant-looking phone, then there's the Note 8 Pro. We would also choose this in terms of durability as pop-up cameras can be quite fragile in the long run. Alright, so let's talk about display. The Redmi Note 8 Pro comes in a 6.53-inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display, while the Mi 90 Pro gets a 6.39-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display. For protection, both of these devices are protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Undoubtedly, I prefer the Mi 90 Pro as it provides a better viewing experience because of its OLED base panel and all-screen display. It also supports an HDR content and it has an always-on display as well, which means more power saving attributes. But if you're not too fuzzy about display and wouldn't mind the dot notch, the Redmi Note 8 Pro isn't a shabby choice as well. The blacks aren't as deep as we would like them to be. Despite that though, the color reproduction is still very accurate. As for audio, the Mi 90 Pro speaker is also way better because it has better sound separation. It has clear mids and slightly less clear highs, but the bass is lacking a lot. The Redmi Note 8 Pro comes off as distorted when it's set to maximum. Checking out performance now, powering the Redmi Note 8 Pro is the latest MediaTek Helion G90T which, as the company claimed, is a gaming-centric chipset. The Mi 90 Pro, on the other hand, is powered by the flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chip. Both of our units come with 6GB of RAM but they are also available in 8 gigs. For storage, our Redmi Note 8 Pro comes in 64 while our Mi 90 Pro is at 128GB. For OS, both of them runs on Android 9 Pi can with Mio i10 so you literally just get the same stuff. However, our Redmi Note 8 Pro has the China ROM so there might be some changes with the global version. Both of them has a support for dark mode too. Now there were reports saying that the G90T chipset in the Redmi Note 8 Pro heats the smartphone but through our usage, it never felt extremely hot. Browsing both web and social media, multitasking between apps ran smoothly without any slowdowns. We also didn't expect any lags or hiccups when playing graphic heavy games. As for the Mi 90 Pro, well, what else can we say? It's a beast. Every task was buttery smooth, period. The benchmarks can speak for itself. For biometrics, both of these devices has face unlock and fingerprint scanner and both of these works pretty fast. But unlocking on the Redmi Note 8 Pro is more instant compared to the Mi 90 Pro. Battery wise, the Redmi Note 8 Pro is packed with 4450mAh battery with 18W fast charging while the Mi 90 Pro is at 4000mAh with 27W fast charging. And both of these devices are supported with Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4 Plus. Our video loop test yielded 17 hours and 10 minutes for the Redmi Note 8 Pro while we got a solid 27 hours with the Mi 90 Pro. This isn't the most accurate interpretation for the real world usage, but for my use, I could easily get both of these devices run for two days. It's a tight fight between these two devices, but the Mi 90 Pro gets the crown for performance. While things might change in the camera department, the Redmi Note 8 Pro is rocking a quad camera setup consisting of 64 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro lens, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. The Mi 90 Pro, on the other hand, comes with three: a 48 megapixel Sony IMX 586 main, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and 8 megapixel telephoto. Both of these devices has a 20 megapixel selfie shooter. Again, the higher megapixel resolution isn't always an indicative of better image quality. I know you were excited to see Sam. 
samples, so here we go. For our first shot, we have this dry stem in our office. Both devices did a great job, both are sharp and detailed, but we can see that the Mi 9T has better shadows while the Note 8 Pro looks a little bit more contrasted. Now on the second shot, we have a photo of Miguel and me, and clearly the Redmi Note 8 Pro has a brighter and better shot, but the highlights are kind of blown out at the window. Color reproduction also looks better. The Mi 9T Pro handled the highlights pretty well, but you can barely see me in this shot, so that's that. Here we have a telephoto shot of this picture frame with a cute well in it. The Mi 90s shot looks pretty clear and cooler compared to the Redmi Note 8 Pros. For this wide shot, it's pretty much a tie between the two, but the Mi 90 Pro has less noise. Another wide shot with Ira in it and yeah, it ain't kinda look good for both of these phones. We barely see any details from her face, but we gotta give props to the Mi 9T for somehow trying. Time for selfies. Here we have AJ and I'm giving the cake to the Redmi Note 8 Pro as the color looks more natural and true. The Mi 9T Pro looks a bit red tinted, but it showered in more light thus making the subject pop out more. We got Ira here again and for this, the Redmi Note 8 Pro takes the cake again for having a more detailed shot, especially when you zoom in on her hair. Okay, we have another Ira for our portrait. Shot. Yes, the Redmi Note 8 Pro shot look brighter and probably better, but the Mi 9T Pro have more dynamic range and details. Especially when you zoom it in on her hair and her shirt, subject background separation on the Mi 9T Pro looks a little bit more realistic. Onto the night shots, with the night mode off, the Redmi Note 8 Pro shots look well exposed with better details. It also looks warmer compared to the Mi 90s cooler tone. But we're digging the color reproduction of the Mi 90 Pro here. Now with night mode on, yes, the Redmi Note 8 Pro looks way better. Here we have a photo of the Makati skyline and it's already looking pretty good for both of these devices. With night mode turned on, hmm, we're digging the shot of the Redmi Note 8 Pro but if you check out the sky closely, you can see that it's very noisy. On the other hand, the Mi 9T Pro seems to handle noise pretty well. Lastly, we have a 64 megapixel and 48 megapixel samples of these two phones. At first glance, there may be no difference at all. You might choose the Mi 9T Pro but the answer lies when we scale really close to the bear's edges. And look at those textures on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. It seems like the 64 megapixel isn't a gimmick after all. Here's a quick side-by-side -side video comparison of the Redmi Note 8 Pro and the Mi 90 Pro. Clearly, the latter's electronic image stabilization is way better. So for cameras, we have to say it's quite a mixed bag. There are times that the Mi 90 Pro's shots look way better to the Redmi Note 8 Pro despite it having a higher megapixel resolution. This can be associated to the Mi 90 Pro's Sony IMX 586 sensor and honestly both are good shooters so which is why we now have to talk about price the mi 90 pro is now available and it's priced at 18,990 for the 6 gigabytes of ram plus 64 gigabytes model and 20,490 for the 6 gigabytes plus 128 gigabytes of internal storage variant the redmi note 8 pro is yet to be officially launched and we bought our unit through an online seller called sean d for 13,200 for the 6 gigabytes of ram plus 64 gigabytes of internal storage storage model while it's 128GB variance price at 14700 When it comes to overall performance, you can never go wrong with either of these phones. You're still getting a Xiaomi goodness whichever you choose. But when it comes to other aspects like the display, camera sensor, hardware, and that premium build, the Mi 9T Pro takes the cake. However, if you want an even more budget-friendly yet powerful device, a capable set of cameras, and a good-looking display, the Redmi Note 8 Pro is also a great choice. Not to mention without a pop-up camera, it's arguably more durable as well. And here you go. At the end of the day, you guys still get to decide. So, which of these phones do you prefer? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougetech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Arel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.